Let others give you feedback. If you want to stay in the top league as a leader, you need to constantly improve the way you interact with people and tasks. Be even tougher on yourself than on the people you lead when it comes to continuous improvement in personal behavior. Your behavior has a direct influence on the performance of the people you are supposed to lead and manage. Are you influencing in a positive way or in a negative way? The ones you lead have you to be their second pair of eyes and ears, their mirror. Who is your mirror? You know what you know about yourself and can improve accordingly. If you do not have anyone to give you feedback or coach you, or if you do not trust that person enough to be willing to listen, then you can only improve what you can see and hear yourself. If you, on the other hand, get lots of feedback, if you embrace the feedback, prioritize what you can use of it, and start training and changing your behavior accordingly, then you are constantly improving yourself. If you at this point are afraid that others will change you, then this will not be the case. Under normal circumstances, a person will change if he or she decides to. That happens if the person sees the benefit of it and starts working on it. A person's listening ability will determine if the person has enough patience to understand what could be the benefit of change. Changing behavior is not the same as changing personality. In 1955, the American psychologists Joseph Loft and Harry Ingham drew the model Joe Harry's window. It was drawn while researching group dynamics. When looking at the window in the perspective of personal improvements, it says much about why we need feedback from both ourselves and others. Here's an adapted version of the window. This is what is known to you and also to the people around you. This is the easiest place to give and get feedback because it is something that is not a secret and not unfamiliar to anyone. Most probably you are used to get feedback on behavior that is well known to all. This is what is known to others, but you have a blind spot yourself. It is a bit more serious to give and get feedback in this area. It will come as a surprise to you, both when you get positive and negative feedback. It will probably make you happy to know that you are good at something that you were not aware of. Maybe you are a bit suspicious also of whether this person gives you positive feedback just to please you and therefore not telling you the truth. It is seldom nice to get negative feedback in an area that we are not familiar with. Since you do not know about it, you haven't had the chance to change your behavior. This can feel like being busted by something you haven't done. If the person giving you the feedback is aware that you do not know about a possible improvement area, this person may be reluctant to give you the feedback since your reaction is unknown. Let the person know that it is safe to give you feedback and that you need to be able to continuously improve. This is what is known to yourself, but other people do not know it. In this area, you need to give yourself feedback. Find out which strengths you have that makes you succeed and which other people do not know about. Give yourself feedback on the most important strengths to ensure that you still have them over time. Find out what you want to change and follow up on yourself and your progress. If you are brave, then let other people know and help you by giving you feedback. Ask people about your strengths and your improvement areas and how they perceive them. This is what is unknown to both you and other people. It is difficult to give and get feedback in this area since everyone seems to be blindfolded. Coaching is a good tool to reveal the potential. Powerful questions from another person can help you to find new ways for you. The questions will help you think out of the box and you will find that you often enter the area of the unknown. Let others be your coach. Most people are not afraid of letting others help them, but some are. They would rather be the ones telling others how to be and act. The ones who are not afraid of seeking support from others are more likely to develop faster and be more flexible in their behavior. This means that they have a greater influence on things and people moving forward, being even stronger, having even more confidence, achieving even more and getting even better results. Find people around you who can guide you, show you, be your sparring partner and coach you. A coach is a person who asks powerful questions to get you to see new perspectives and take your own decisions. It can be in the area of Johari's window where neither you nor others knew that you had a potential. Know what you want from others, give them a clear role and guide them along the way to be the best supporter for your development. You know what you need from them, so be direct in your communication. In order to reach your goals and change the habits you have decided to change to the better, you have to learn new skills. 
Changing habits has to do with the relationship you have with others or with yourself and other people's opinion is your source of information. Thank you.